just told you last year about a new medical device that's helping people who struggle to walk. And this morning, News 5 anchor Tracy Carlos is following through. She talked to one Rocky River woman who says the neural sleeve is giving her hope. From one day to the next. It gives me hope. Christine Evans' life changed. I could no longer ice skate. I couldn't play tennis. I couldn't ride a bike. Her hand started twitching when she walked, and her foot started turning in front of her. That was about 20 years ago. She was diagnosed with a rare disorder. My vertebral artery has a dolico ectasion, which means that the artery is twisted. She didn't have any treatment options until one day. I actually saw the neural sleeve on TV one night when I was cooking dinner, and they were showing people that had had strokes and MS, and they were walking without it and with it. And I'm in my kitchen, and I went, oh my gosh, I have to get one of these. Back in March of 2022, I first told you about NeuroSleeve when the company was just given FDA clearance. Now, we're following through as doctors are prescribing the device. Christine has been using hers for about six weeks. Immediately, once the everything was set up, it just made my leg feel so much stronger and I didn't have to drag it and it was absolutely amazing. This device is a huge stride for people with neurological issues. It's indicated for people with upper motor neuron disorders, which is things like MS, uh, stroke, cerebral palsy, and then spinal-related uh, diseases. While technology puts the device in patients' hands, there is an app with personalized instructions from a human. It's a functional electrical simulation device, so it has sensors to measure movement, and then it delivers low levels of stimulation through these pads directly to your muscles through your skin. The company is made up of just 40 people, but this product and technology has grabbed the attention of Time Magazine, which named it a Time Best Invention of 2023. This idea born out of necessity. The founder of the company was a dad searching for answers. Jeremiah's daughter, Sophia, was born with cerebral palsy. And, you know, Jeremiah was seeing, you know, driverless cars start to show up in San Francisco and said there's got to be uh, a better mousetrap, a better technology available uh, than what's available today. So that was really the motivation. So truly mission driven. Now, Brian Kalanick told me the technology is already benefiting hundreds of patients. Uh, being able to improve individuals' life was a goal, and now we're seeing that actually come to fruition. For Christine Evans, her progress brings her to tears. My foot flowed right through. <laughs> and it makes me cry. I started to cry because I thought, oh my gosh, this is how I used to walk, like a normal walk. In Rocky River. It's been absolutely amazing to me. Tracy Carlos, News 5.